So every now and then we get a cat that's got that's really well endowed. This, this is pretty pretty good sized testicles for a for a cat. Um, and we, he's going to be castrated today. What people don't know, Mel, I'd like you to try and catch on the video, is a cat's penis points backwards, points towards the wall. So when, if they want to mark their territory, they actually back up against the tree and weep backwards. So take a look at the penis of the cat. So there, can you see the hole there? Mm -hmm. There's the penis of a cat. It's a tiny little thing and uh, points backwards and they weep backwards which is probably not intuitive. But these are really good sized testes. He's going to be castrated today. And um, male cats need to be castrated. They just don't survive otherwise. They run the road, they fight, they get AIDS. Whereas male dogs often can survive if they're not castrated. And a lot of people, not a lot, but a small percentage choose not to. Is there an ideal age to do it? We generally, we generally try and weigh it between growth and castration, but um, we generally would try and do it by six months of age, just because the risks of, of problems related to fighting and other things are so high. So you can take a look at the testes mill, and then I'd like to, we won't video the surgery, but I'll show you what it looks like after the surgery. Hi, the other thing to note about a cat, a uh, male cat's penis, is it has a barb at the end. So when you've he heard a, a cat squeal or yell, a female cat, on withdrawal, it does hurt and that immediately ovulates. And so therefore, there's a 100% strike rate on becoming pregnant. So the cat, uh, they mate, he withdraws uh, his penis with the barb at the end, the female squeals and releases an egg. So you can kind of see, so we've left the sex, um, we've left the two sex. Empty. <laughs> now the reason we put stitches in, we don't normally stitch up a cat, but these are really big testes because this is a, a pretty old cat. So take a look, you can take a look at the testes, the size of them is, is, is they're pretty good, good sized testes. So what, if, you can, if you can actually see, this little cord here is a spermatic cord. That's where the sperm run along, so the testes produce sperm, and that goes into the, eventually into the penis. There again is a really long, that's the spermatic cord from the, the one testicle, and that, that's how the sperm reach the, so two big testicles, a little wound, we put, we partly closed because the wound was so big, and the cat's now going to be recovering. It's had fluids, it's had an antibiotic because it's quite a big wound, how old do you think the cat is? I think the cat's probably um, probably about 18 months. So it's a, so it's a year Eight to 18 months. months. And uh, the skin's very thick. It's been in fights. It's been bitten. It's had to survive in the wild. And we so we've, we've taken this little cat. We're going to do some bloods. We're castrating. We've wormed and, we're gonna, and fleed. We've wormed and fleed. We're in a really poor condition. And like everyone else in the vet world, the nurses and staff all try and um, do our best for, for the community at large, including a wild, a wild cat that's um, trying to survive. We've cleaned up the head injury. So it's looking really good. Um, what people might notice is we've got a heat light. This is a heat light, so it's nice and warm. A heat pad. We do have, a, we do have heating, but probably enough and he should be should be okay to go back to the cage in approximately five minutes that's how long recovery will be so we're going to so you can see he's been in a lot of fights he's had a head injury there and he was covered in blood when we first dealt with him poor boy and he's still really out of it <laughs> 